tafuta fita zetu kutoka kwa budget wetu mbalimbali ambao katika sehemu mbalimbali katika Tanzania ili uweze kupata print nzuri na copy nzuri inayowaka kwenye screen. Usikose kufika kwa bana Amazon video library. Nakuta mikanda ina mbalimbali ya kizungu ya Kihindi ya Nigeria. Ya dini ambayo imetafsiriwa katika lugha ya Kiswahili. Kusisa zilizo tafsiriwa na rufufu. Ya vile utazikuta kanda za season ambazo zimetafsiriwa na vijana masani mbalimbali. Kutoka vile vile kwa wazoefu wanaojua kutafsiri moja kwa moja picha za season kwa kina DJ Mark. Picha za kindi hususan utazikuta ambazo zimetafsiriwa moja kwa moja na Jumakane. Bwana Amazon peke yake katika mji wa Tabora. Anayeongoza kwa kuwa na VCD, DVD, CD. Asamba mbalimbali ambazo zimetafsiriwa katika lugha ya Kiswahili hususan na mkandara rufufu. Unaweza kuzipata DVD, VCD na CD. Na hususan utazipata VCD, DVC, VCD na kila kitu ambazo zimetafsiriwa katika lugha ya Kiswahili. Unapomtaka katika mji wa Tabora pigia simu Amazon 0745177775 utapata kanda zinazongara katika screen na zenye sauti stereo. Vile naendelea kutoa onyo kwamba jie pushi na kununua kanda barabarani zilizoandikwa rufufu. Utakuta ndani hakuna rufufu. Kwa kutoa wengine tofauti na rufufu. Amazon utaweza kutumia mikanda popote ulipo katika Tanzania na popote ulipo katika Afrika Mashariki na Kati. Jie pushi na kunyonya kanda katika mitaa. Utapata kanda mbovu zenye print mbovu. Usije ukanunua mbuzi kwenye gunia. Kwa vile tunapokea oda ya mikanda yote kama unaijua ambayo rufufu amewahi kuitafsiri katika lugha ya Kiswahili. Fika kwa bana Amazon. Uweze kutoa oda na zitapatikana direct moja kwa moja kutoka Dar es Salaam na kuja Tabora. Amazon. Maarufu kabisa katika mji wa Tabora. Anayeongoza kwa kuwa na VCD, DVD, CD. Asa mbalimbali ambazo zimetafsiriwa katika lugha ya Kiswahili hususan na mkandara rufufu. Burudika na mkandara rufufu. Chagula wengi. Wote mnakaribi. Ni mambo makali kabisa yaliyotokea katika uwanja wa kivita dada ya Vietnam. Yote hayo tayapata katika picha ambayo tuyaangalia leo wapenzi wangu wazamaji. The target of death. Ni shabaha ya kifo. Katika maisha tunayoishi wapenzi wazamaji, hakuna vita ambayo imekuwa ni masikitiko makubwa kama vita ya Vietnam. Nchi wa Vietnam katika kipindi hicho walipata tabu kubwa sana. Na mpaka sasa hivi tunaendelea kuangalia rekodi ya mauaji katika uwanja wa kivita. Vita ya Vietnam bado inaongoza. Ndani ya kipindi hicho nasemekana kwamba wa Vietnam wapatao milioni 4 walipoteza maisha yao. Ingawa nao wa Marekani wapatao 1500 walipoteza maisha yao katika vita ya vita ya Vietnam. Bye chien chai. Picha yetu ya leo wapenzi wangu wazamaji inaitwa Target of Death. Ni shabaha katika kifo. Oh, Vietnam waliendelea kuangaika katika nchi yao ndani ya nchi nzima. Baada ya Marekani kuwa naisaidia baraka ambao walikuwa napata moja kwa moja. Kutoka makao makuu yao yaliyokuwa Saigon katika mji mkuu wa Vietnam. Wananchi walijikataa kabisa serikali ya Vibaraka iliyokuwa katika mji wa Saigon na kuamua moja kwa moja kuingia msituni kupambana vita dhidi ya serikali hiyo. Vile vile zidi ya Marekani walikuwa naunga mkono. Wananchi wa Vietnam walitumia silaha za kila aina. Silaha za kienyeji ndizo ambazo zilichukua nafasi kubwa sana katika vita ya Vietnam. Katika picha yetu watetsi wa penzi wa zamani tutamuona dada mmoja wa Kimarekani anaitwa Keti. Keti alikuwa ni Marekani ambaye anatetea haki za binadamu. Keti alijitolea mwanga kuelekea katika uwanja wa kivita 
ili kukagua ni vitu gani vilivyokuwa vinaendelea baada ya taarifa kuwa zimesambaa dunia nzima kwa Marekani inafanya unyama mkubwa sana katika vita ya Vietnam. Usafiri katika kipindi hicho wa Vietnam walikuwa wanatumia punda, farasi, ngombe maji. Na mwingi sana walikuwa na usafiri wa miguu. Ngai mai Nchi ya Vietnam imejaliwa kuwa na misitu mikubwa kwa sababu ni nchi ambayo katika ukanda wa tropical wakati wanasogea wananchi hawa ambao hawakuwa na hatia helikopta za kimarekani zilianza kuwafuatilia baada ya kuwa wameziona helikopta hizo za marekani ambazo zilikuwa tayari zimeshawaona wananchi walianza kutimua mbio Askari wa Kimarekani waliokuwa kwenye helikopta wanaelekezana ili wakae katika mwelekeo mzuri waanze kuwafieka. Baiskeri nazo zilitumika katika kusafirisha watu kusafisha sana kila kitu. Kumbuka ndani ya misafara hiyo vile vile kulikuwa na watoto wadogo wazee pamoja na vilema. Walianza kuwashambulia. Angalia jinsi wa marekani na mfanya unyama Vietu na mnao kogo pori ya chari sasa waka mtungua sikari moja Alia kuwa napika mashina kani kwenye ndege Helikopta hiyo liyondoka na wakatuma helikopta nyingine zidi ya kushambulia Vietnam wapenzi wa zamani ilidumu kwa miaka 30. Tota nazaliwa mpaka na kuwa yuko katika uwanja wa kivita. Hayo Marekani hata Vietnam kugundua kwamba Marekani wanatumia sana ndege za kivita. Waliamua kuchimba maandaki ya chini kwa chini pongs. Inasemekana kuna baadhi ya maandaki yalikuwa yanakwenda mpaka kilomita 300 chini kabisa ya ardhi Dada huyu dada Kate aliweza kumsave mtoto mmoja. Lakini mtoto yeye alikuwa amemkamata alikuwa tayari ameshajeruhiwa na risasi. Walikuwa na silaha nyingine za moto wana wakanga na moto Kati na yeye mwenyewe tayari alikuwa amejeruhiwa Na Vietnam bati nzuri walikuwa wamepata silaha kutoka Urusi za kuangushia ndege
Walijitahidi sana kuhakikisha kwamba madege haya yalikuwa yanawashambulia. Bwana Mnyari sasa. Helicopter hiyo ipigwa. Niloka chini. Hakuna aliyetoka katika helicopter hiyo ya kimarekani. Kumpata Kati aliyokuwa akogopa katika kipindi kizima aliongozana na askari walikuwa naitwa magorila waliokuwa wanajitahidi kupambana moja kwa moja na vibaraka pamoja na askari wa Marekani Hata vibibi ambavyo ni vizee kabisa vinabeba wajukuu zao wanajaribu kutafuta sehemu ya kuweza kuweka sehemu ya usalama Nchi ya Vietnam ina mji wa Hanoi, vile vile kuna mji wa Saigon. Huko chini ikiwa imepakana na Cambodia, upande wa kaskazini ikiwa imepakana na Thailand. Chinzima ilikuwa na waka moto. Ndio ramani ya nchi ya Vietnam. Hapo kuwa na amani katika nchi nzima. ni target for death picha hii wakati wa kuitengeneza wa Vietnam walishirikiana na na Warusi Alexander Alexander Garbin alicheza kama kurti ni vivyo ndio mchomezaji mkuu Mai Viet ni alicheza kama fongo. Titiana Ribedeva. Yeye ndiye alicheza kama Kate Francis. Vali. Yeye kama Vietnam mai. Nazarov ni captain wa meli ya kirusi aliyekuwa anaitwa Shakov Bishai iwashikisha vile vile Vietnam walioweza kuiona vita hii litengenezwa mwaka 1985 kipindi hicho wapambanaji wa Vietnam ambao walikuwa wanaitwa magorila walikuwa na uongozi na kamanda Ho Chi Minh Meli ya kirusi ilikuwa inaondoka kuelekea katika Haifeng ni katika bandari Akeo ambayo ilikuwa inapokea mizigo. Warusi wakiwa kwenye meli hiyo waliendelea kucheza moja kwa moja draft. Mean to KO. The position you just lost the game. Oh. Huko katika position ambayo naona kwamba nitakushinda. It's strictly European tactics. Sio kabisa mimi nacheza mchezo wa Kiropian. Play a lot and you'll win. Wewe sasa utakuwa ni mshindi wa kwanza. Wanacheki kule mbele. Waliona helicopter. Ali gundua kabisa kama ni helicopter ya Kimarekani.
I don't like the looks of this. He's searching. Americans. That's just what we do. Of course, I was never at the academy. However, South Tennessee. China, Pick it up. What are you getting at? It only means I understand it, that I managed to learn it. In the service, I was a fireman. Good training. The guys used to say, a smoke eater gets one chance. That's what they called us. Ukifanya kosa moja tu, mimi natumia kosa hilo kukufunga. The smoke eaters made his error, his only one. Wait, uh, that's not my move. Na wote unangaika umeshinda mchezo moja. I was distracted. Walisikia vingula vinaria. You can get on your nerves. I'll play the other one. Eh. Ah, how's that? Kani potiza kimarekani? We better tell the captain. What do they want anyway? All hands, now hear this. What is Captain Gazo? Up on the captain now, get to the Marriott. Carry out your duties. Very well. Go on with your normal duties. Pay no attention to the Americans, regardless of their maneuvers. This is the Marriott Americani. Carry out your duties and pay no attention to what the Americans. Mkae tayari kwa sababu tunataka kujua na ukwenda wapi. They're interested in what our destination. Captain Shukov. Signal we're heading. Aliweza kuangalia na kumambia nao. Demand a full report on our cargo. Tell them general cargo. Do we have any military equipment? Tell them no. Auriza kama una misail. Wambie kwamba hatuna misail. The American. Hatuna silazo zote zakivita. Want to make sure that we're not transporting any armaments. They have no right to board us. It's a violation of international law. Kama anataka kudia kuikagua merieto ni makosa kabisa kwa sheria zaki mataifa. Atua rusu kudia kuikagua merieto. And they're making the rules. Christ na kunda kisheria atwarusu kuja kukagua merieto. They order us to stop, or they'll open fire. Ama mna kata kukaguriwa tuto shambulia. Few rules of our own. You're right, Captain. Wajibu katika kirusi kwamba atwarusu kutuka kutukagua. Ask them. Are we to interpret this as an open door? Are we to interpret this as an open door? President of the United States. Are we to? Na kwenda katika amri na tunapata amri kutoka United States. SSR. Kama nini mtaka kushambulia fanya kazi na kile sisi hatuwezi kukubali kukaguliwa. Tuko katika maji ambayo ni international. Tuko katika bari ya kimataifa. We are a Soviet ship in international waters. Sisi ni meri ya kirusi tuko katika maji ya kimataifa. Full speed ahead. Ongeza speedi. Ipini weka moja kwa moja kwenye noti nile zaidi. Meri ya kirusi liondoka moja kwa moja bila kujari. Vitisho virivyo toka kwenye boti za kimarekani. Kwa mbali waka wanafatiliwa na helikopter za kimarekani. Katika kipindi hicho wa Vietnam walikuwa na shughuli zao za uvuvi. Wamarekani bila kujali walipeleka helikopta zao za kivita na kuanza kuzishambulia meli za uvuvi. Kwa 
Atoto kakanaangalia baba yake alipigwa risasi akadondoka kwenye maji. Unajua katika mashariki ya mbali kuna watu wanaoishi baharini maisha yao yote. Boti ni nyumba, boti ni shamba, boti ni kila kitu. Mle ndani wanaishi na familia zao. Wananchi kama kawaida wanakuwa kwenye shughuli zao za kutoka kwenye kilimo. Waliziona helikopta za Kimarekani zinakuja wanajua kabisa kwamba hapa tumekuja kushambuliwa. Walianza kukimbia ovyo. Walianza kuwashambulia. Wanaua hata mifugo. Marekani wengine ambao walikuwa ni infantry walisogea na jipu zao kwenye hicho kijiji. Walikuta wana kijiji wote wamekimbia wengine wamejifucha kwenye majumba yao. Kaanza kushambulia. Kama huyu alikuwa amejificha bibi na kijukuu chake katika shamba. Nani ya jengo hilo kulikuwa na watu wa mjificha? Mama hapa mwenye wa tuto wake. Uyu marekani aliweza kuwaona. Haka chukua kumbona na kuatupia na kafunga mlango. Wote wakatekitia mle ndane. Tuto hiki kilikuwa ni kishuri ya kulikuli. Kilinye mbele ya kineshuita mpura mpura. Kikikuwa na kimute ambacho kilikuwa kimechongwa. Kinataka kifu na asikari mwoja wa marekani. Lakini hae mwenyewe Wakamfieka Amerikani bada ya kufanya unyama wote uo waliondoka Wakaacha kijidi wa mekitekiteza moto
Mama anakwenda kucheki alikuta kitu chake kimekufa. Na wakati wa fighters za Kimarekani naendeleza mashambulio. Safari hii fighters hizo zilikwenda kuishambulia meli ya Kirusi ambayo ilikuwa tayari imeshatia nanga. Thanks. Tumefunga gati. A little too early to celebrate victory over the American 7th Fleet. They won't give us any peace now. Hawezi wakatupa usalama hao. Captain. Fong is one of them. Fong is kule. Happens we unload at High Fong. Atujapokuwa mzigo tutafanyaje? Tunakuna iPhone. Alikuwa ni mama wa Vietnam. Can you hear me? Yes, fine. And how is it going? Nakwendaje huko? The tracking us. We have to put in at another war. Naonekana kama Wamarekani wanatafuta wanataka kuanzisha tena vita. Are you all right? Uko salama? Don't worry about us here. How are you? Me? All right. How's our? Timu niko salama. Tu sijui ni mnaendeleaje huko na mtoto? I'll put him on to you if you like. He's right here. He's a big boy now. Oh yes, he is. I'll go get him now. You'll hear. Hey, he alikuwa anaongea na mume wake Fonga. Alita na katoto nako, kaongea na baba. Ongea na baba. Ongea na baba yako. Hello, Papa. Papa. It's Papa. I'm on a boat. It's Papa. Where are you? Papa uko wapi? Out at sea. Niko kwenye boti, niko kwenye boti. I'm about to come home. Pia nyumbani baba. What's wrong? Are you there, my? Goodbye, Papa. Come home. That's right, Fong. We miss you. Don't worry. I know it's going to be all over someday. No, we'll wait till you get back home. Fong, they need the radio. We'd better hang up now. Fong, tu nakutaka uji baada ya vita kwa ibatulia. Uja nyumbani, tu nakusubiri mina mtuto wako. Don't worry. Yes. Suwa na waswasi, tutakuona tu. Oh, it won't be long now. Goodbye, my darling. Fong, alibaki kwenye masikitiko makubwa, ha? Hakujua kabisa kama angeweza kuiona tena familia hali ilikuwa ni mbaya kabisa Anything wrong? What is it? I hardly know my son. Sijamuona mtoto wangu kipindi kirefu. Leo ni mwasikia unajua anafanya kazi kwenye meli ya kirusi. You have all the time in the world to get acquainted. Come on, dad. Tuna waswasi. Baada ya utapata mapumziko. Ndio kipindi cha Vietnam walikuwa nasonga mbele. Kama kawaida Kate ambaye ni Marekani kama alivyokueleza kama mwandishi wa habari na kutaka kujua ni kitu gani kinachoendelea front line. Hakuacha kuongozana na kamvoi za Vietnam. Baada ya mambo kwa ni magumu wa Vietcong pamoja na Vietnam waliunganisha nguvu za pamoja Vietnam ya Kusini pamoja na Vietnam ya Kaskazini ili kupambana na adui ya umoja. Wakati mwingine unataka kujiuliza kutoka Marekani kuja mpaka Vietnam ni maelfu na maelfu ya mamaili. Wa Marekani walikuja kutafuta kitu gani katika sehemu hiyo? Ndio kipindi hicho wakati Vietnam inapambana na wa Marekani nchi ya Marekani ilikuwa inatawaliwa na Rais Richard Nixon.
kama nilivyokueleza katika boti za uvuvi za Vietnam hata za China wavuvi wanaishi katika hiyo mitumbwi pamoja na familia zao na serikali za nchi zao huapa misaada ya namba mbalimbali ndani ya kipindi cha miaka 70 mpaka 80 ndani ya South China Sea kulikuwa na wavuvi wapatao kama milioni saba wanaoishi baharini Meli natakiwa ikapo kwa kuri mzigo. I am sorry you can't come and visit my village. Ilya can go. He's staying here. Well, it's time I headed for home. Basi wacha turudi kwenye boti yetu. Twende tukajiandae kwa ajili ya kupokoa mzigo. fighters za kibarekani zilikuja kushambulia moja kwa moja meli ya kirusi na kushambulia bandari nzima ya Haifeng hata meli za kivita za marekani nazo zilishiriki katika mashambulizi hayo ndege ilirudishwa pale tuliruka Bado fighters zinakuja. Ndani kuna hicho zilikuwa ni fighter F15. Four stroke 15. Meliyo ya kirusi ianza kungua moto. Mzinga aliyokuwa anatumika katika kipindi cha kuangusha ndege ilikuwa ni mzinga ya 37 mm. Damu baro. Warusi waliamua kuiboresha moja kwa moja mzinga ya Vietnam ya Damu baro. Na katika eneo moja wakati mwingine walikuwa naweka mzinga yenye mitutu ipatayo kama 40. Yote ikiwa inalenga ndege angani. Stay there. Come on. Come back. Kuamulisha aweze kuzima moto. wakizima moto ndege za kivita F15 zinakuja na kupiga tena makombora Na kuna hicho keti naye alikuwa ameumia Alikuwa anajaribu kumsaidia baria mmoja Baria walijitahidi kuzima moto Kuzima wenzao na kuzima wenzao waliokuwa naungua moto Fung. Fung pamoja na kumbuka Fungo mke wake ndiye alikuwa anampigia simu. Wanajitahidi kwa kila njia kuzima moto. Captain sasa anakata tamaa. Aliona ali inaendelea kuwa mbaya. Kila mmoja ajaribu kuwa mwangalifu. Na waomba mkimbie kwenye meli, muruke kwenye meli, muondoke kwenye meli. Meli sasa inaanza kuzama na waomba muondoke kwenye meli haraka sana. Yachie meli ni amri yangu, ondoka kwenye meli mabaria wote. Man the lifeboats, abandon all hands. Ship is sick. Narudia tena kuambia kwamba meli inazama. Mabaria wote mtoke kwenye meli kama mnatoka na lifeboat mtoke na lifeboat. Vara life jacket ruka na mjitose barini. Mabaria bado waliendelea kukazana. Kuizima meli yao, wataki meli yao ingue. Kila wakijaribu kuzima. Madege ya kivita yakipita pale. Nawasha tena moto mabaria wengine waliruka barini. Captain Shukrov Shukro aliangalia akasikitika vibaya sana. Afanye nini anakoraki? Kale mmoja alikwenda kuichukua bendera yao isije kaungua moto. Naunguza meli yangu. Meli yangu inazama. Nimewaambia kwamba ondokeni kwenye meli mara moja meli inazama. Ah. 
Wali jitahidi mabari ya wote kutoka mbio wa meshitu wakabisa kuzima moto Na meli yendelea kuzama Na Captain Shuklav Tuende, 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 tuende Hali muita mwenzaki na wawote wakatoka kwenye meli Opeta alikuwa bado kwenye chumba cha kuzungumzia Tuende, tuende, wame tuende, wame tuende, Captain amesema tuondoke Tuondoke kwenye chumba, tuondoke kwenye chumba opeta Opeta katika sema mawasilana alitorewa mle mkuku Wakatoka nje Captain, this time the planes will come back soon. Ndege zitarudi tena kushambulia. Hakuna haja kurudi kwenye meli inazama. Hizo ndege za Marekani zinaweza zikarudi tena. Waliondoka sasa na kwanza kutembea kwa mguu kuona ni wapi ambako wanaweza kwenda wakapata msaada. Mabaria wote katika meli ya kirusi wakiongozwa na Captain Shukrov. Kwa Vietnam walijua kabisa kwamba wa Rusi walikuwa ni marafiki kabisa wa karibu. Hivyo walikuwa wanafanya kila njia ili kuhakikisha kwamba mabari ya wote hawa wanaweza kupata mahali pa usalama. This way, please. You stay here. Karibuni, karibuni, mkai katika semu hii. Come, please. Kumani, karibuni. Welcome. Glad to see you. Thank you. Karibu sana. Captain. Our communication has been informed. Your ship... Kumepati tarifu kwa mmerienu imezama. Arrangements. Kumeanda basi liwapereke katika mkutana. For men. All right. To the Soviet consulate, they are expected. Kuna katika mkutana ambao sisi wa Vietnam na warusi tuta kutana pamoja. Now please relax. Tasa mkae, muoge kwanza, mbadiriche nguo kama zipo. Thank you very much. Asika mazipo mfue mulizo kwa nazo zikikauka tuondoke. Vietnam wale wakaribisha wa askaru wa kirusi. Na Captain Shuklov, alibaki kabisa kwenye mawazo mazito. Hakuna kitu kinachouma katika roo kama unakuwa ni captain wa meli Alafu kayona meli yako inazama Meli yako inaungua Unaona ni uchungu mkubwa sana Avyatina mbado hawa kuendelea kukatitama haa Waliendelea kusonga mbele kipindi hicho alikuwa amepata zana za kivita kutoka Urusi na Warusi walikuwa wameongezea hata magari ya kivita yaliyokuwa yanasaidia kukokota mizinga mizito mizito alijaribu kumuona akabati akabatisha kumuona mke wake Fonga kama mbatisa kutanya mkiwa kimei Fatamani Fatamani nime kuona tena mme wangu Mfrai sana Na mimi mfrai sana Katuto ketu wakajambo Ilia He is here to build bridges This is Awa ni mwakala mwamukuja kujenga madaraja This is Captain Shukov Very glad Kuni Captain Shukov Ndiye captain wa meli yetu ilio zama Tafai sana kuwaona kabisa Shall we go? Karibuni Tuende Hi captain Ilia, stay with us Maybe you heard There's an American actress visiting our country They've asked me to accompany her Well, here she is How do you do? I'm Kate Francis This is Ilia Kate Francis Ilia Crutine Kate's been every place Not just Kuyumungina naitua Ilia 
And it brings you here. You two are destined to meet. Excuse me. And I took it. Out of the captain. So long. Fun. Ali Agana, I'm going to come with you. Wakati anaingia kwenye basi kuelekea moja kwa moja kwenye kikao ambacho kitawashirikisha Warusi pamoja na Vietnam. Na kwenye hicho bado madege ya kivita ya Marekani yanaendelea kushambulia. Video ya ndoki katika eneo hilo haraka sana. Angia kwenye jipu na wawo walikuwa na ilikia kwenye mkutana. Kama nifu kweleza, Rusi likuwa emeleta mwenda kumanya mizinga mba yukwana piga vizuri sana kai piga ndege na kwisa maratisha. Piga tina ndege nyingine. Kama madege alipukua na pigo na kudundoka. Ma pilot si wana ruka. Tani pala ambako kulikuwa na mizinga ipatai ya rubaini, yote na shambuli ya ndege. Wananchi walijaribu kushirikiana na warusi pamoja na waitare ambao walikuja moja kwa moja katika nchi hiyo katika kukarabati nchi ya Vietnam na kujenga madaraja aliyokuwa amebomolewa Kuna kucheki Alikuta ni mtuto wake Alikuwa ni fongo Mamake mei Alipata alifaka jambio Such a Mama me ya nalia. Mgini na ya mtutu wa kia likuwa milazo hospitali na ya kaikata roo. Alikuwa mepigo na vipane vya mabomu. Angalia wale wali okufa katika onjwa kivita. Baiti zimetanzo na likuwa kama mawaji ya kimbali. Nipo alipo amua kufanya kazi moja ziada Ni kuchimba moja kumanya mashimo na kuzika maiti hizo kwa pamoja Three days ago, the Americans mined the port of Haifong There is no safe channel now either for entry Napata tarifa kwamba Siku tatu zizo pita wa marekani walitega mabomu kuzunguka bandari yote ya Haifong In three days Hakuna meli yoyote ya kigeni ambayo kwa tika semu hii Ambayo inatakiwa wame Sema kwamba meli zote ziondoki kabla ya siku tatu 
na zikikosa kuondoka kabla ya siku tatu mabomu yataanza kulipuka na meli zote zilizoko katika bandari hiyo zitaangamizwa sasa tumepata moja kwa moja msaada kutoka urusi ili kuja kusaidia katika kutegua hiyo mabomu vijana wa kivietnam wamepata mafunzo namna ya kutegua hiyo mabomu ili kuweza kuifungua bandari bandari ya ifong Our best calculations 1000. It is easy to see why the Americans have done this. Haifeng is our only port for unloading a cargo ship. Haifeng ni bandari pekee ambayo tunaitumia katika Vietnam kupokea meli, kupokea mizigo na vitu vyote vinapitia pale chakula na kila kitu. If supplies and equipment. Kwa hiyo kama bandari hii itaweza kutumika wa Vietnam watapata hali ngumu sana. To death and every one of them will die. That's the situation. May I say something? Kitu ambacho tunataka kufanya ni kuhakikisha kwamba watoto na wadogo, watoto wadogo pamoja na wanawake na wazee wanahamishwa na kupelekwa katika sehemu nyingine. And we had better clear away the mines. Tufanye kazi ya kuondoa makombora katika bahari. There is one mine very near. Angalia kabisa kuna bomu ambalo liko karibu kabisa na meli. Ili kombora ndio litakuwa la kwanza. Bomu hili litakuwa lina kwanza kuliondoa carrying out such a mission. Do you do you realize that this mission is very likely suicide? Na uhakika kwamba mission hii itafanikiwa? Ujuzi waliotupa wa Rusi utatusaidia sana kuhakikisha kwamba mission imekamilika. Unless he has someone with him on the mission. Then he'd have a pretty good chance. Can you suggest anyone to go along? Yes. Who is your candidate? Inani huyo. I am. Mimi mwenyewe. Mabaria. Walianza kazi ya ziada ya kwenda kutegua lile bomu ambalo likuwa karibu kabisa na bandari. Kuna bidi utumie ujuzi wali ya juu kabisa kuweza kuondoa fuse na ukishaondoa fuse fuse bomu hilo linabaki kama chuma tupu aliweza ikaleta madhara yoyote. Ilikuwa ni kazi ambayo inahitaji uangalifu wa juu kabisa. Shika vizuri. Shika vizuri kuna waya chini. Usipondoa hiyo waya ilo bomu linaweza kalipuka na kwenda kwa uangalifu wala sitetemeki mikono kwa sababu mimi si nyigongo bado waya nyingine ya chini kwa mwangalifu usitetemeke sitetemeki nimekwambia mimi situtumii gongo mikono yangu iko imara Huku akiwa na sali sala alifaulu kuweza kuitoa ile waya wakapongezana Hebu nione Hii ndio fuse inayolipo ile bomu Sukuma unaotoka katika fuse hii baada ya kuwa imelipua kombora ni mkubwa sana The vibrations of a ship's engine set off the fuse the mine explodes. This is a special one. Sema kabisa kama engine ya meli ikipita karibu na kombora hili wakati mwingine kama limesha jiseti vizuri. We will have to support. Tokea mlipuko mkubwa sana. We can't know. Thank you comrade. Ninakushukuru sana comrade. Now, any ideas for the others? Na mawazo mengine? I have one idea. Na mawazo mengine? Explode them intentionally. How is it done? We use our motor boats to detonate. Tunataka kutumia moja kwa moja motor boats. Our velocity. Kulipua ile mabomu mengine ambayo kwa kweli yale mabomu hayana fuse. We have 20. Yale ulipuka. Yale mabomu ulipuka yanapokuwa yamepitiwa na meli. So like a hundred mines a day at least using it. Kuna mabomu yapatayo kama 100 katika eneo lote la Ifong. It's true but we can't leave them. Sasa tutafanyaje? Tutatumia vijana wetu. Those mines that are watavuka yale mabomu kwa kupita speed. Baadaye wakishayavuka yale mabomu yanalipuka. We don't have any other solution. Kuna njia nyingine ya kuweza kufanya. Lazima tutumie njia hiyo. 
We'll need volunteers for the mission. That's what to be a volunteer at the commission. Operations for removing mines from the general to a quarter at the cafe. In the meantime, the committee will be hoping to find a better solution for exploding the mines. Not of Tanzania, you can acquire a cool poem of Combora. The men find another way. Vijana ambao walichaguliwa kwenda kwenye zile speedboats kwenda kujaribu wale mabomu waliondoka huko wakijaribu kuagana na familia zao ilikuwa ni kazi ya hatari kabisa ambayo vijana hao wanakwenda kuifanya ni kujitoa mwanga unakwenda na speedboat Unaliparamia bomu. Speedboat inapita bomu lina pumu. Bomu linalipuka. Kikosea tu kidogo bomu kaliparamia vibaya. Na kuangamiza huyo mmoja kwa mmoja. Familia wakati vijana wao mavurunti wanaondoka kwenda kwa kazi hiyo, walibaki wanalia wengine wanaagana na wake zao. Takia, but in Jema. Good luck, Fang. Uta Fang. Fang. Hey, Ali Mwaga, mukewa kumbuka tama mukewa ke. Omisha mpote zamu toto. Zamu na mukana skiti kana mena na ondoka. Mama riba kana sali. Wananchi walibaki mbali kabisa pwani. Wanaangalia boti kila boti ilikuwa na askari wawili. Sasa boti hizo zinaondoka kuelekea kule kwenye mabomu. Mabomu ya majini. Kwenda kuyalipua. Sasa boti ziondoka spini kuelekea kule ambako kulikuwa na bomu ya majini. Mabomu ambayo ni hatari sana. Yakiwa yametega sambaba kwenye bandari ya iPhone. Hakuna njia nyingine iliyopaswa kutumika. Ikwenda kuyaparamia ile mabomu. Tokoja nilipuka. Boti za kwanza zilifaulu. Hatutoka nisikia mlipuko kikazimia. Mwisha lipuka kama mwane Pado mengi Pananti wako pembeno nangalia Take him out of here. Need to pull him out. Otringi, take him out of here. I'm going to take him out. Mama May, I'm going to come and meet you at the Oasis Club. Mbea naangalia liyona kama boti ya mewake melipuriwa. Liba kimei kwenye masikitiko makubwa nguvu sika mwishia.
Eneo lote la bandari sasa lilianza kuwa na amani. Mabomu karibu yote yaliyokuwa katika eneo hilo yalilipuliwa. Afurutia ambao waliponea chupu chupu wakaweza kufaulu kwenye kazi hiyo wanarudi sasa nchi kavu. Anza kupokelewa na familia zao. Mama anaangalia mume wake amuoni. Kijana aliyopoteza maisha wakati makombora yale yalipuka. Familia zao zinalia. Mama anauliza mtoto wake. Namuuliza Fongo. Fongo. Afikia kimpenzi alikuwa na maji. Mtoto wangu yuko wapi jamani? Mama mtoto wake akurudi. Amezamishwa barini. Hei, hakuamini kabisa alipomuona fongo amerudi. Alibaki ametulia. Wananchi walipita katika maeneo mbali mbali kununua mashada ya kwenda kwenye makaburi ya wale waliopoteza maisha katika uwanja wa kivita. Ndana kipindi hicho. Mji wa Hanoi ulikuwa tayari umeshaingia katika wapambanaji chupavu kabisa wa Vietnam. Na taarifa zilikuwa zimeshapatikana kwa vile vile Saigon na yenyewe tayari ilikuwa imeshatekwa na wapambanaji chupavu wa Vietnam. Keti aliendelea kuchukua picha mbalimbali. Wananchi ambao walikuwa wameandaa mashada ya maua kwa ajili ya kuweka kwenye makaburi ya mashujaa. Yes, I have to pack. Na kwenye hoteli? Sisi ndio tutakwenda kwenye hoteli hiyo. I've seen so pamoja. These people are extraordinary. Calm dignity in spite of all that's happened. No, not really. No, I mean they don't have any choice. It's 30 years now they've been struggling. Me pigana miaka selasini. Generation. Awo kona njia njini. And I suppose they couldn't imagine anything else. Maybe it's that. Hmm. Dumano maona tafrontia o mejitoria muanga. you might like these. Oh. Thank you. Nimekuletea moja kwa moja huwa. Ujisikie huko nyumbani. Brought you here to Vietnam? Uh, well, back home. Mimi nitarudi nyumbani. Leo. Na mtoto wangu anaita Leosha mwingine aitwa Vanya. Narudi Urusi. I sure miss him. Mimi nimekuja kwa ajili ya kazi ya kutengeneza madaraja. Just suffering in the world. Everything's in books, Kate. Mhm. Mm here yeah, kids are learning the hard way. We have to help. Are you staying long? To come down left? Yes, I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer. I know how to build bridges. Ni mkuja kwa ajili ya kutengeneza madaraja ambayo yameharibiwa na Marekani. You're leaving? Yeah. Naona ondoka? Tomorrow. Mimi naondoka kesho. Dad is waiting at home. Mimi na mtoto mmoja tu kwa Marekani. What's going on? This morning volunteers cleared a channel. They exploded mines. Volunteers wamesafisha moja kwa moja ndio maana meli zinaingia. Meondoa makombora yote. Na kweli meli zilianza kuingia kwenda kupakua mizigo. Na meli nyingine ambazo zilikuwa zimeshapakua mizigo ziliondoka kwenye bandoli, bandari ya Haifong. Ujenzi wa madaraja mbalimbali uliendelea. 
a hard man to find. How are you? Bali yako bana mkubwa. Alright. Mambo yanaendea vipi? Tuko katika kazi ya kuhakikisha kwamba madaraja yote yanajengwa. Do me a favor. Fan here and I have to go take care of something. You know Fan. Ah, yes, hello. These are the plans. Check the sight lines. Yes. Come nice on. to see you. Let's go. go. Don't worry. Ndio na kazi mimi naenda kuzungumza na rafiki yangu. We're gonna be late. No, we're not. Drive straight on. Umechelewa lakini tutawahi kuja mkutano. Wakati bandaraja anaendelea kujengwa. Izinga ya 12.5 Kuangushia ndege ilikuwa imesambaa katika maeneo yote na upande mwingine walikuwa wamezipeka ndege za kivita helikopta za Marekani zilikuwa zimetekwa nzima nzima Zikaingia sasa katika mikono ya Vietnam Ulinzi mkali ulikisha umemalishwa katika maeneo yote walikokuwa wameziteka helikopta za Marekani Mapilot wa Marekani waliodondoka kuturuka katika ndege zao zilizopigwa hawakuteswa wala kujeruhiwa Kuhakikisha kwamba mwapeleka hospitali na kwenda kuyapatia matibabu katika hospitali za Vietnam ndani ya mji wa Hanoi. Wakiwa chini ya ulinzi mkali. Your name? Inalco. Rogers. Atua Rogers. Indianapolis, Indiana. Schooling? Natoka Indiana. Graduate. Where were you? Nimesoma na graduate. Ndege yangu ilidondoshwa. Nikaruka. Patient. Napenda mpira. What do your parents do? My dad's a doctor. Mom teaches. Baba yangu alikuwa daktari. Are you? Alafu mama alikuwa mwalimu. Yes. Meoa ndio. In your opinion, why do the Americans call? Kwa nini Amerika wamekuja hapa kuna kuingia katika shabaha ya kifua? Because so many of us have been killed in this damn country. This is what we're to be able to do. What is your name? Jack Foster. Jack Patters. How old are you? I'm coming up. I'm going to start singing. Was it your ambition to be a pilot in this war? Na frayi ya kuwa katik pilot katika vita hi. Architect. Na nisi akfanya. To a professional art. Iri kujatu. I got into this war. Who is your favorite author? How many flights did you make? Look what a kumbuka this story we were taking. And where were you? Bada kwa meruka kutoka kwenye ndege zao zilizo pigwa. Do you have any? Let me know what you want to come to for me to come to Tessa. One. Go up here, go study. That's our corner, Oliswa. Your name? Enak. Eto Willie Jackson. What do your parents do? We have a farm. Baba zangu, baba zangu ni wakulima. Are you the only child? When you mtutupe kiaki. What feelings did you have when you were bombing? Kuna kitu gani kwa nini nakuja kupiga mabomu katika miji? Guess I just got used to it. Nakuja kupiga tu. What did you have? Yamu litinatoka. What's that military academy? Do you like books that much? Napenda vitabu. Do you have any? Sio sana. I like to hunt. Napenda vizga. Napenda sana kuwinda. If you had a choice, what would you do now? Kama ungekuwa na mua wewe mwenye ungefanyaje? What is your name? Kwa jina kwa gani? My name is... Kwa jina kwa David Macron. Where were you born? New York City. New York City. Your parents? Babako. I was an orphan. Babango amesha kufa. You married? No. Apa na sijao wa mimi. What was the happiest day of your life? Kwa nini kitu gani? I don't know. Kumbuki ni siku gani ya fraa katika maisha yangu? How many missions did you fly? Four. Your name? Babako. What sort of background do you come from? What made you drop bombs on Vietnam? Pani ni makuja kupiga bomba Vietnam. I'm a military pilot. Ni me mi mi ni pilot wa kivita. Yeah. Ni me amuri shi wakuja kufanya kazi na lazima timi za kazi ya makamanda wangu. The South. Ni mi naona kwamba Vietnam ya kaskazini na kusini. How much were you? Inchi moja. Thousand dollars a flight. What was the happiest day of your life? Day I made my first solo flight. Wakui na flight sana siku ya kwanza ni liporuka. I was ashamed. Nandi poli poli pigani sasa. I'd like to go home. Nikaruka na kunuka chini. Apara tu watu alipelekwa katika mkutano ambao ulikuwa umeandaliwa na Vietnam pamoja na Urusi. Are you married? Noah? Hapana mimi ni single. 
place of birth. What do your parents do? Passed away. Mom is at home. What is your civilian occupation? I'm a How many missions did you fly? Where were you shot down? What kind of plane did you fly? I hope that the world now will understand. I will not be able to do it. 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 I will not be able Shut <laughs> 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 Ambaya alikuwa ameumizwa mguu na yeye aliingizwa ndani. Would you ever leave America again to fight in Vietnam? Utakuja tena America kutoka kupigana Vietnam? Why not? Hapana. I don't believe in it. Tuwezi kusiamini kama mambo ya vita. Among others, no Soviet rockets would be stationed here. And so you felt free to come. Ni ndo kwamba wa Warusi wako hapa. Maswali mengine anaulizwa na chuo kujibu. Do you think that the United States is really invulnerable? Au kwani nadhani kwa Marekani inafurahia kuipiga Vietnam? Don't think of me as a killer. We just come here to make it clean to root. Tumekuja katika sehemu hii kujaribu kufanya vitu vya kibarbarian. Saf. Tumekuja kwa ajili ya kutaka kukomesha ucommunist. 6, 8 and 11, that's right? That's right. And tell us, you want to expose them to the pain that you caused the Vietnam children here? There's no danger of that happening. Here in Vietnam is bestial and inhuman? Yes. Najua kabisa kuja Vietnam, ni kukiuka za kiza binadamu? Clear. Najua yote ya ya. In country. Kini ngefanya kituga na kini nacho kijua ni kama Vietnam ya kusini na ya kaskazini ni inchi moja. Na nikipenda wote wa ungani wa kitu kimoja. Listen for me. When I saw hungry Vietnamese people give me birth. Waona mmoja kwa mmoja askari wao. Na wananchi wanapata matatizo lakini sina na kufanya. Wakati mwingine nilikuwa napiga mabomu sema mpaka kuna wananchi. Why it is? Ni vita. One will ever conquer Vietnam. Ndipo alipokaribishwa keti. Na yeye aje kutoa bauni yake. Wengi walikuwa wanamsubiri sana keti. Mimi natokea New York. Nilikuja katika vita kuanzia mwanzo. Can only bring shame on my country. Kwa kweli naona aibu sana kwa nchi yangu. Kuja kuja huku Vietnam. I want to tell the media. Nataka niwaambie waandishi wa habari kuhusu maskari. Waging war here against women, children. Kwa kweli vita ilikuwa inashambulia watoto, watoto wadogo, wazee, maskini, vinema na kila kitu. American people. I will tell them about the partisans. Kitawaambia kuhusu wa Marekani kwamba kitu walichokuwa nakifanya huku ni kibaya sana. Kilicho kiona ni maona watu wanachimba pongs kilomita 250. Watu wanaishi mle ndani wanazaliwa humo ndani na watoto wanaishi mle ndani. Hiyo na uchungu sana. Mama alianza kulia. Americans are doing this. They're coming. Kilikuwa nafanya hivyo kwa ajili ya kujilinda. They have no right to do this. Wakuru wa marekana wakua na haki ya kunika kufunya vitu ya namna hii. 
bombarding and shooting the Tawapiga na mabomu kila siku and spreading all their chemical poisons till everybody is Kuna jaribu kupiga hata mazao yao wanayolima wakati mwingine wanakosa hata chakula mwingine wanakufa njaa Yes I'm going to Tutaka kuna kwa kuelezea wa Marekani. Not only the partisans and this Kwa kweli hawa wakuwa gorila wa kawaida walikuwa ni askari ambao walishirikiana pamoja na zina watu wa kusini. All Vietnam united. Watu wa Vietnam wote wameungana pamoja kupambana na Amerika. Determination. Tokyo Olympics na Paris Olympics try. They can go on for 8 years. Nimetembelea vijiji vingi sana na nimeona kwa macho yangu. Matatizo makubwa sana ambayo yamesababishwa na Amerika. Children go off on reconnaissance to spot. Watu wanakuwa kwa watoto na kulia kwenye machimo. Ains with rifles. Buddhist. Wametumia silaha za kawaida. Wameangusha hata ndege. Hata mabuza nao walishiriki kuwa maaskari. Pilots call this sector. The kwa kweli imekuwa moja kwa moja target kwa ajili ya kifo. Here in Vietnam I learned one thing. Katika Vietnam nimejifunza kitu kimoja. They desperately need all the armaments they can get. And yet if one day the Soviet Union zaidi kila njia kuweza kupata kila aina ya silaha hata kutoka Urusi. Lakini na wao vile vile walitengenezea sila zao. Win. Na kweli wamekuna mpaka wamepata ushindi. Too much I know them. Na walikuwa tayari kupigana kuanzia miaka minane hata ingekuwa miaka 80 wangeendea kupigana. Na hakika wangepigana mpaka hata miaka 800. Na kwa sababu walikuwa wanapigania haki zao na wangechinda. America. Nifanye vibaya pamoja kama ni nchi yangu. Nimetunga wimbo. Kwa kuimba kuhusu vyote ambavyo niliyaona katika Vietnam. Over and over again. Nataka niwaambie kwamba usirudiwe tena tena na tena nataka wimbo vile vile utafsiriwe katika lugha zote duniani watu wausikie wimbo wangu It's dedicated Kwa kweli Vietnam I would like to sing it for you now if you allow me Nataka niimbe wimbo huo Words I tried to put all the feelings I've had in singing Angalia hata tembo wenyewe walipata matatizo Necessary the beasts will learn to fight Tembo nao walikuwa tayari kupigana. Hata mandege nayo yalikuwa na kupigana hata ndege wa gani? Hata ndege angeonekana angeweza kupigwa risasi. Hata simizi. Hata kila kitu katika sehemu hata mende. Wote walikuwa na unguzo wa moto. Na mandege ya Vietnam. Very bamboo and rice of the countryside. Watu walikuwa naishi katika bamboo. Matatizo makubwa. Should not a single Vietnamese remain alive from cruel men? Pamoja na matatizo haya lakini wa Vietnam walienda kuishi kwa nguvu bila kuogopa. Tumeishi nao mimi. America will learn they can't beat Vietnam. Amerika watajifunza mambo mengi sana kutoka kwa Vietnam. And should all the animals and people be destroyed for always? Their fighting spirit would go on defending the land of Vietnam. Wazo walioko nao wa Vietnam katika kupambana ndani ya kivita. And they ili wajenga na wakoa na moyo wa kuilinda nchi yao. Naona ipenda nchi yao. Now the Americans nchi ambayo kwa kweli ni green mbona inastaki yake naomba jita langu mama get alianza kupiga wimbo huo aliyoutunga yeye mwenyewe kuhusu vietnam wimbo wenyewe uligusa katika nyanja zote sisi wa marekani walivyokuwa wanapiga mabomu sisi watoto walivyokuwa wanapata shida watu walivyoishi kwenye machimo Skala Vietnam Walivyo shambulio na skala wa Marekani Na kwa uwa ovyo Wakati Marekani lipo piga miji ya Hiroshima na Nagasaki huko Japani Kaseme kana kwa mba walikufa watu kalibu milioni mbili Angaria sasa katika Vietnam Kaseme kana kwa mba Vietnam wapatao milioni nne Walipoteza maisha yao Vietnamese. Ah Vietnam wengi tu walikuwa vilema. Yote aliyaimba mama Kate katika wimbo wake. Tusikilize. Kujenga madaraja, kujenga barabara. Kujenga leli. Kulima mashamba usiku na mchana. Walianza kuvuna. Yasemekana kama kwenye shamba moja walikuwa naweza kulima katika mwaka misimu mitatu. Kumbuka hata sisi hapa Tanzania tulikuwa tunapata vile vile mchele pamoja na ngano kutoka Vietnam pamoja kama ilipigwa vita Vietnam waliendelea kujimarisha vile vile pamoja kama mwanzoni walikuwa watumii kofia za chuma walitengeneza kofia zao wenyewe vile vile aliwaimba mapairoti waliodondoshwa na ndege 
akamkumbuka pirate mmoja ambaye alidondoshwa karibu kabisa na mtoto aliyekuwa anachunga ngombe kitoto hicho kiliweza kumuona pirate huyo wakati ameruka na parachuti kutoka kwenye ndege iliyotunguliwa pirate huyo aliogopa kwamba labda kile kitoto kingeweza kutoa SMG haiwezekani kama hiki kitoto kitaniua wacha kiniue yavua mavazi yake yote na silazo kizote akazitupilia mbali na kile kitoto kilimpokea kwa mikono miwili kikampakia kwenye mkokoteni akamwambia mzee shikamo akaitikia maraba twende nikupeleke bado tu huyu alikipenda sana hicho kitoto kilichomtoa porini na kumpeleka mjini baada ya ndege yake kwa imetunguliwa na mizinga shupavu ya Vietnam aliyosimuliwa katika picha hii alitokea kweli ndani ya uwanja wa kivita ndani ya Vietnam Kutin ndiye Alexander Garbin Pet Francis ni Titiana Lebedeva Mei yeye akiwa ni Valerie Captain Shuklov Yuri Nazarov ambaye jina lake la kweli yote atimeyapata katika picha yetu ambayo inamalizika target of death aliyeweka maneno ya Kiswahili katika picha hii ya target of death wa penzi wa zamaji ni captain Derek Gaspar Mkandara Poof!